Hey everyone! I'm here today to delve into a fascinating journey. From the tactile pages of printed books to the sleek screens of e-books. How did this transformation happen? And what does it mean for us, the readers? Let's dive in. The story begins in the 15th century with a revolutionary invention, the printing press. Created by Johannes Gutenberg around 1440, this machine brought books to the masses, making reading a common pleasure rather than an elite privilege. Imagine, before this, books were painstakingly hand-copied. Fast forward several centuries, and the digital age is upon us. The first major leap towards electronic books was made in 1971 with the launch of Project Gutenberg by Michael S. Hart. He envisioned a world where literature could be accessed by anyone, anywhere, free of charge. The project digitized and archived cultural works, marking the beginning of ebooks. But it wasn't until the 1990s that ebooks started gaining real traction. This was thanks to the advent of the internet and portable reading devices. The Sony Data Discman, released in 1992, was among the first electronic book readers. However, it was devices like Amazon's Kindle, launched in 2007, that truly turned the page on how we consume literature. With its e-ink technology and vast digital library, the Kindle made reading digitally as comfortable as reading a traditional book but with the ability to carry thousands of books in one device. So, what has been the impact of this digital revolution in reading? On the positive side, e-books offer convenience and accessibility. They're instant, often cheaper and more portable than physical books. They've also been a boon during times when access to physical libraries and bookstores was restricted. However, not all is rosy. Many argue that ebooks lack the sensory experience and the personal connection that comes with a physical book. The feel of the paper, the sound of turning pages, and even the smell of a new or an old book. Additionally, the digital divide means that not everyone has equal access to digital reading resources, which can widen educational and cultural gaps. In conclusion, while the shift from print to pixel has opened up new realms of possibility in reading, it also presents challenges that need addressing. As we continue to evolve digitally, it's crucial to keep the love for traditional reading alive while embracing the convenience of technology. Whether it's a paperback or a tablet, the magic of stories remains unchanged. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening journey through the history of reading. Until next time, keep turning whatever kind of page suits you best.